Now I'm not so I'm I'm not sure if many of you are familiar with him. This is Geno Jennings. Now, Geno Jennings, uh, I believe he's a pastor out of Philadelphia. Yeah, he is a pastor in Philadelphia. Um, and his church, I believe, is what I think he's called it the first, first Church of the Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ. I think that's the name of the church. But what has gotten him uh, in some interesting situations is his blending of somewhat like he's trying to make his church in the image of the nation of Islam. So basically he's having a lot of the nation of influence, nation of Islam influences inside of a Christ, so-called Christian church. A lot of his teachings is um, we, when especially a pimp preacher, you'll find a lot of Geno Jennings um, reports on the pimppreacher.com, on the old pimppreacher.com situation. Because uh, TJ, when, um, when he was doing it, he saw a lot of parallels. Uh, between what Geno Jennings was talking about and his old situation as being a member of the Nation of Islam. So he saw it as a serious threat. So he stayed up on it for a long time. And it just seems like right about now there's this situation where a video this week went kind of viral that a lot of folk were watching and um, yeah, I'll just put that over. Yeah, so it was a video that went viral. And in this video, we're going to watch it in its entirety. Then I'm going to go ahead and replay back and, you know, dissect it a little bit. This, uh, this is nothing new. It's just that he says the word ho this time. And that's the least of the concerns that you can actually um, take out of it. Now, mind you, that this is only a 90 second video. With it being 90 seconds, excuse me, with it being 90 seconds, we know that it is out of its, we are out of context in a way. But there's not much of context that needs to be said for what was being said in this 90 minutes. So I already know that the people who are Gen who are Jenny supporters, that's one of the things they're going to say. Yeah, you're taking it out of context. Well, we already know that. Already know that. But... This situation here, really? He challenged Tony Smith to a debate? Oh, that I don't know, but if that's true, that would be, oh my God, that YouTube video would be hilarious. Both of them in the same, <laughs> okay. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me get back focused. I got to get focused. Now, this is nothing new for um, for us. Like I said, we've been following him for years. And here's one of the things that... Um, and I'm just going to read a little bit of, of, of this uh, from, our, from our website on pimppreacher.com where I got this picture from. Um... Because he wants to deal with a lot of these relationship things, and what we're found, what we're finding out, is that there were a lot of men who loved. I'm gonna to have to check that out. I'm gonna to have to check that video out. Oh my god! I'm gonna to have to check that video out. I just could imagine. And please tell me, did they both have readers? 
that would be so great oh my god that would be so great oh that would be awesome oh my god that would be great <laughs> anyways um Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Let me let me let me let me. I'll I'll, I'll look. Don't don't put don't put the link up in the um, chat room, because then that means people are going to start hitting that link. Don't do that. Look it up on your own time. You know after this, because that's what I'm going to do when I get done with this. I'm gonna look that up. All right. So what we were finding out, um, along with his teachings was. He was attracting a lot of men uh, to the church, which is somewhat weird, but he was attracting a lot of men to his church and forcing men and women uh, to the church, basically men and their wives, and they were bringing their wives to the church and um, having them fall into this subjection. Now, if you notice, you'll notice in the video when I play it, the women sit on one side of the room, the men sit on the other side of the room, just like how the nation of Islam does it and most of the women uh, in there um, had some sort of head covering just like the women in the nation of Islam so when he talks about the women you have to know this you have to know this that the women there whether their husbands are there, whether their fathers brought them there, they are under this subjection. And I'm not sure if they're under this subjection of their own free will. You'll do, we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute when we get to the video. But there were women who came out to us uh, back in 2014 when this when this art when when we wrote this article, one of these articles. Um, who came out and basically was saying, hey, this stuff is crazy. My husband joined. Uh, one quote in an email said, my husband joined Gino Jennings Church. He began to hate everything about me, from my hair to my choice of shoes. Everything that he once loved about me became whorish, even though I never dressed it like I never dressed like a hoe in my life. Since I refuse to dress like I live in Iraq, he feels that we are no longer compatible. This transformation took took place over a period of 90 days. Only 90 days for him to suggest that we go our separate ways. Now, I'm reading this quote from a woman who emailed the Church Folk Revolution back in 2014. It is now 2018. And a lot of y'all, the way that this video was going viral, a lot of y'all didn't know about Geno Jennings, right? And didn't know that this is how he got down. This is how he gets down. So, it's no question on what he says. It's no question. Nothing with Geno Jennings had changed in the past four to five years. Or in the past 20 years, actually. As it relates to his view of women. So let's let us let us go ahead uh, let's go ahead so that I won't be too long let's go ahead and look at that oh, I forgot to take this down hold on hold it hold it hold it hold it there we go let's take that off and let's get to this thing here let's get to ah here we go now mind you when we're watching this. What we're going to find is that it's going to be somewhat may maybe offensive. So um, if that's you know harsh language, if you got kids that may not that you may not want to hear this, I'm letting you know now. Do something with the kids or whatever, but I'm just giving you this warning. 
because, uh, you know, he will say some things that will be offensive to you probably. So here we go. That's right. You so-called Christian-looking whores. Chomping in some church, flapping your ankle chains around, all on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all red, nails painted red, purple, blue, green, long like bird claws, all this fake hair, breast implants, toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. Amen. 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 So go ahead, go to church now. Go to church. Right. Got nothing but a singing hoe, a shouting hoe, a organ playing hoe, a choir director hoe. Hey, hey, preacher, preacher, preacher. If what I just said describe your wife, you're married to a hoe. Am I right, I said? Talk to me. Yeah, we're going to check this out in a second. Let me bring myself up a little bit. We're going to rewatch this, but look at the women. None of them got up and walked out. Now, they probably think that they that he's not talking about them, but no, he is talking about y'all. He's talking about even from the old one that's sitting right up there in the front to the young ones that are sitting closer to the back that you see in the frame he's talking to all these women it is something about a man who believes that a woman that all the that that women who dress a certain way right and if you look at these women they're all dressed very similar in their in their approach to their dress uh, they're all in white. Maybe that's a thing. But they all, like I said, all their heads are covered. You know. It's something to be said about a man who sits back there and these Christian men who sit up there and will basically say that a woman, by the way that she's dressed, she is, in fact, a prostitute. A hoe, if you wills. But a prostitute, a hoe, a whore. Remember this quote that I just read. Once my husband joined Gino Jennings Church, he began to hate everything about me. From my hair to my choice of shoes. Everything that he once loved about me became whorish. And even though I never dressed like a hoe in my life, since I refuse to dress like I live in Iraq, he feels we are no longer compatible. That is a quote from a woman that we got an email from five years ago about five years ago nothing has changed if this man we're gonna go through it and I'm gonna start it up again let me go ahead and get the get the video going again 
so that I can sit up here and hit pause and start. But let's start it again. That's right. You so-called Christian-looking whores. That's it. Chomping in some church, flapping your ankle chains around, all on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all... Now... Let's let's be my let's let's get mindful of what he's just said. First of all, he's talking about one of those old school um, symbols that when when you were a um, so lady of the evening, prostitute, whore, whatever, one of the common things that you can tell is the anklet okay that's an old school trick so when you walked into a bar right when you walked into a bar and you saw a young lady stand you know sitting up there at the bar by herself she if she had like an anklet on some little you know you know anklet you know little bracelet around the ankle then that would actually suggest you know that she would be available to you for the evening that's old school this old school guy so you know Rhonda you're not supposed to you're not supposed to do the show for me. You're not supposed to do the show for me. <laughs> you're not supposed to do it for me. You're not supposed to do it for me. She just said, give it a year or two, he'll be uncovered for raping women. How see, how are you supposed to sit up there and give my conclusion before I even get to it? Man. All right. Now I got to get back on it. Okay. So the anklet would let women know, would let the men know about the women who would be available. Okay. So he's going down the line of all these things that seem to make women hoish. You know, lack of a better word. You know, it's not that you know that you know it's just just seems like let's continue on for a second hold on let's continue red, on red nails painted red purple blue green long like bird claws all this fake hair breast implants toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it your toes ain't richer you're nothing but a prostitute now he can boldly say that and boldly claim it, right? Here's the sad part about it is he really hates women. I honestly believe that if you are a woman and you don't look like those women in there, this man hates you. You know, if it doesn't look like these men, you know, these people here that's in that church that he forced, they didn't choose to dress like that. Nobody chooses to dress like that. They were manipulated into dressing like the way that they are. I'll, I'm going to get to that when I get, I forgot, I'm, I'm jumping ahead. That's it right there. See? None of y'all are choosing to dress like this. Y'all are dressing like this because you were manipulated and brainwashed into doing it. Now, I honestly believe this too. That the women aren't saying anything because they're told, uh, per a discussion that we we're having on Facebook anyways, but I believe that they're told that they're not to speak in church. And that silence doesn't necessarily mean that they're in agreement or lack of agreement. They just can't do nothing. 
they can't agree they can't they can't disagree we know they ain't disagreeing so ain't nobody get up and here's the sad part about it I believe that they are desensitized to it I believe that they sat up there and listened to this rhetoric for years been listening to this rhetoric for years and it's just another Sunday they can't do anything about it because their husbands is here and they love their husband they can't do nothing about it because their daddy brought them there and they love their daddy they can't do nothing about it because this is their third generation of whoever and they believe and, and then they're forced to believe that he offers the way to God that's right it's spiritual abuse this is the if you're looking at the picture of abuse and manipulation I'm just getting to that too Lloyd you step you y'all 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 jumping ahead on me stop jumping ahead when you want to see the picture of abuse, look no further. This is what abuse looks like. This right here is what abuse looks like. And I could care less about him calling folk hoes or whatnot because all of this, all of this, because those women that are sitting there, guess what? He sees you too as a hoe. You can have your hat on. You can have your rag on. You can have your, your dress all the way up to your neck and your skirt all the way down to your ankles. And guess what? What we're going to sit up there and find out, and I know Rhonda said it earlier, right? But what we're going to find out, and I believe it to be true, Stories may are probably going to come out that Gino is sitting up there sleeping, abusing these women. Raping, I'm not sure, but it probably should be rape because they were manipulated into doing it. Under any other circumstances, they weren't. See, this is the thing I tell you about preachers. When preachers get these control issues and they, they want control, basically what they want to do is to control your time, your money, and your bodies. And all that this thing here is saying to the women that I have your time, I'm going to take your, I don't know about the money, but I definitely have your bodies. And I'm doing what I want with your bodies by telling you, you have to wear these hats and these scarves. You have to wear these dresses that go way down to the bottom of the floor. You know. Hold on. Somebody says something. I'm, I'm, yeah, sometimes the sensitivity in the chat room goes. And I just want to make sure that some of this stuff goes up. So, yeah. You have this situation going on where you're looking at these women. And I, I really want you women to know that he doesn't give a damn about you. He really doesn't. Because if he actually cared about you, he wouldn't be worried so much about whether or not you're, how you're dressed. Here's the other thing too. I always find this so interesting about, about men who are so fixated on how a woman should dress. Because when a woman dresses as a prostitute, hoe, whore, whatever, that, that that woman, you know, that she deserves whatever the treatment that she gets because of the way she's dressed. No, that's not right. It's funny how these men put the, put the onus on the women. They put the onus on the women as their fault for causing men to stumble. No. Brother, listen. 
Jesus said that if your eye offends you, pluck it out. It doesn't matter what your eye sees. If your eye offends you, pluck it out. A lot of y'all sitting up here, a lot of these folks sitting up here, so they were, well, why are we worried about whether or not people are dressing? And, and, you know, why are we? Here's the thing. If you, if you, if you're like, people still honestly believe, and this is a sad part. People, there are some people that still believe that if you are raped, that you shouldn't have wore a short skirt. Or like he talks about, wear tight jeans to wear your birth, where it shows the shape of your birth canal. Brother, how do you know what the shape of a birth canal is, bruh? You looking that hard? I understand, We, you know. But the problem is, is that it's not her fault. You're the one that got to deal with your own lust. You're the one that got to deal with your own your your own misogyny. You're the one that got to deal with all that. It's not the woman's fault. You know, it's not the woman's fault. Okay. Oh. They saying he here or something? Oh, okay. I was looking at that. Hmm, interesting. But Gino Jennings, you, this is the thing. The hatred that is being displayed, it's not gonna shock me because typically those who are the loudest, you know, and that, it would shock me you know, I mean, that's part of the reason why Malcolm X was killed. Uh, he found out some things about Elijah Muhammad that while he's supposed to be living this holy and righteous life, that, um, you know, this holy and righteous life here, come to find out Elijah Muhammad was living another life. Caused some contradiction there. And it caused Brother Malcolm to find his own way. And because he found his own way and was going to start up something new on the first day. On the first time that he started up his new thing, they sat up there and killed him. Yeah, that happened on this day. It's very similar to what we're seeing here. Very similar. Very similar. So it wouldn't shock me, and it shouldn't shock any of you, that going forward, we find a big scandal out of Geno Jennings Church. And I would be encouraged, I would encourage any of you sisters in there that we see right here, that if he has been any, any appropriate with you, holla at your boy. Oh, we will put him on blast. Please. Please. We will put him on blast, people. So, let's let's do this. So, if you know, and I know and we'll, and I can keep your identity safe. All we need to do is just work out some things to get some things going and I'll help you out on that. We can get something done or at least try to. This right here is a mess with Geno Jennings. And I don't, uh, I'm just, let me finish this up real quick and then see if there's something else I want to say something before we go. Go to church now. Go to church. Got nothing but a singing hoe, a shouting hoe, a organ playing hoe, a choir director hoe. Hey, hey, preacher, preacher, preacher. If what I just said describe your wife, you're married to a hoe. Yeah. Now, see, 
as a husband of a, you know, as a husband. Debate his point. Okay. Yvonne, um, debate what point? I'm just looking at the chat room. Uh, go ahead and um, tell me, debate what point? But being that I'm married and you're over the pulpit just just talking about someone, what about your wife? You know, I mean, come on now. We don't need to be talking about folks' wives. For what? This is This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. And every man in that church should have stood up and, and smacked the mess out of him for saying that his wife is a hoe. You know, you can't go too far with all that. You know. <sighs> but anyways, this is the Gino Jennings video. And it's and I know it took some time up, and I I just wanted to let folk know that really he ain't say nothing new. He ain't say nothing new. We got reports from him, you know, four, five, six, seven years ago. It's the same deal, same thing. You know, I'm just kind of like, you know. Uh, it is what it is. I just encourage all of you that if you see this man or whatever, that, and we didn't even get into like his um, bad teachings. Same with Tony Smith. They're they're both terrible. But um, let's guard ourselves on who. And what we're watching as it relates to these folk. You know. I can't believe you sit up here calling people's wives hoes. All those women that were sitting in that audience. A lot of those women were married. And the sad part about it is this. Your image of a woman... And if you feel threatened, that's the other thing too. And I meant to say this earlier. Brother man threatened by the fact that a woman can be all that and dress the way that she is. And here's the thing for a lot of men that, that, that harp on this stuff. That dress and the way that individuality that women display when it comes to their beauty or whatnot, it is a it is a source of power, empowerment, and what Jennings is basically demonstrating or trying to get and convey is that not only does he have control over the women, but he has that the women do not have any power. That's the problem. That's another thing I meant to say earlier. That those women there, they are weak. They have no power. They have no authority. They have nothing. And all they have is what he gives them. And you know what? What y'all need to realize is that's pimping. A pimp, basically, and a pimp will sit up there and tell his hoes that they are hoes and to act accordingly. And basically, this is the same thing. Gino Jennings is basically pimping out those women, pimping them out to their husband, own husbands. Now, that's deep. Gino Jennings is pimping out his own Pimping out those women to their own husbands. Because they got to meet up to a certain standard in order to be with their husbands. I just read to you 
a testimony of how because she didn't want to go under be under that control and that subjection that he left his wife at least according to the email that he left his wife Woo! Gino 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 mm, mm, mm. crazy I didn't want that one there we go crazy 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 <laughs>